it's really looking out like all winter and summer times and so with the song. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Nothing is too difficult for thee. Actually, my first uh, experience of summer and uh, winter time was actually in Namibia when I arrived newly in 2013, when the time is moved forward, you know, at a particular time. Then when it's the other, when it's summer, then it's moved forward. <laughs> and I found it very interesting. Well, let's start with the prophecy. July 24, 2023, I see a near air accident is up involving a celebrity, so you need to pray into this. Uh, but let's go to scripture, because the scripture we are looking at is just actually very similar to this movement of time during winter and summer in Namibia and, of course, in other parts of the world. Second Kings chapter 20, verse 8, And Ezekiah said to Isaiah, What is the sign that the Lord will heal me, that I shall go up to the house of the Lord the third day? Then Isaiah said, This is the sign to you from the Lord, that the Lord will do the thing which he has spoken. Shall the shadow go down 10 degrees or go for, go backwards 10 degrees? And Ezekiah answered, it is an easy thing for the shadow to go down 10 degrees. No, but let the shadow go backward 10 degrees. So Isaiah the prophet cried out to the Lord, and he brought the shadow 10 degrees backward, by which it had gone down on the sun diet of Ahaz. Now this is the kind of thing I was talking about. Let's say, for instance, it is 11 o'clock, and then when it is winter time, you know, maybe they decide they need to move the time back to 10. So basically, it's one hour backwards. Then maybe it's summer, they move it back, you know, uh, to 11 so you gain you know and of course people can make those kinds of decisions by themselves but uh, if you look at in this particular account of course the guy had been sick the prophet had come to tell him that he was going to be healed and he wanted a sign and the sign is very similar to this winter time summer time because the, the degrees were moved you know uh, backwards you know so even if it is governments you know or whatever kinds of authorities decide to do that you know the fact that you know it was done after you know uh, uh, this had been prophesied by Isaiah shows you know that God is still the one that reigns over the affairs of men. So if the sign was that the the it will move backwards by one hour, like they do in summer and winter time, or move forward by one hour, and the authority decide to implement it, and it becomes a sign, you know, like in this particular instance, you know, I mean, this is actually what. It is that took place. Uh, one doesn't have to go into all kinds of debates about, you know, uh, you know uh, whether it's divine. Of course, it's divine in the sense that, you know, it was actually moved backwards. Maybe the authority decided to do it, but they actually were able to fulfill God's purposes. And I think this is very comforting because sometimes governments think that they have all the power to themselves. They can take decisions all by themselves. But actually, what they're doing is carrying out God's counsel and will. And this is very comforting for those of us that are children of God. Nothing happens to us by chance. 